So the first question says uh, using first principle. Uh, so let me write what first principle says. First principle says uh, f of x, um, f prime of x equals to uh, the limit as h tending to zero of f x plus h uh, minus f of x uh, divided by h. Uh, that's what first principle essentially says. So we're supposed to find uh, using first principle uh, f prime x of uh, f of x equals to x squared uh, minus 5x. So, okay, that will be f prime of x equals to uh, the limit as h tending to zero. Uh, for the first part of uh, the formula, everywhere where there is x, we put x plus h, right? So it starts by saying x squared. So we're going to say x plus h squared. Wherever there is x, we put x plus h, right? Minus 5. Uh, x plus h and then you subtract uh, the equation or uh, the the function itself so in this instance that is just um, x squared uh, minus 5x right and then we divide everything by h so we're going to get f prime of x uh, equals to the limit as h uh, turning to zero uh, x multiplied by x is x squared multiplied by h is x h multiplied by 2 that is plus 2 x h h multiplied by h h squared uh, minus 5 multiplied by x minus 5 x and then minus 5 h and then we take uh, the function itself out of the bracket uh, we're going to get minus x squared and then plus 5 x because of this minus and this minus here uh, we do we divide by h uh, so basically, at this step, every uh, term that doesn't have an h is supposed to fall apart. Uh, if that is not true, then you have done something wrong. Uh, in this case, x squared is getting subtracted by uh, minus x squared, right? And then uh, 2x is an h, so it remains. Uh, h squared will remain. Uh, 5x is getting minus, is getting added uh, by 5x so that is going to fall apart so at the end of the day uh, we get that uh, f prime of x equals to the limit as h turning to zero of um 2x h uh, plus h squared minus 5 h uh, divided by h if we take h as a common factor on the uh, numerator we get um the limit as h turning to zero, um, h two uh, x uh, plus h minus five um, divided by h. H and h cancel out, so we just left with the limit as h turning to zero of two x uh, plus h minus five. Um, h is turning to zero. I'm so sorry for that. Um, h is turning to zero so we are going to get the limit as h turning to zero is 2x uh, minus 5 and then if you derivate it using the power rule uh, that is x squared uh, minus 5x you're going to get uh, 2x 2 minus 1 minus 5x uh, um, One minus one. Uh, that is this is two x uh, minus five, right? Uh, which is the same when we use the uh, first principle. So if you don't, if the question says first principle, uh, you use it, and then after that you um, you do it using uh, using the power rule and see if you get the same thing. Uh, let's move ahead. Uh, the second question uh, says if uh, oh, find uh, g prime of x if uh, g of x equals to uh, okay. Uh, let me write that down. Uh, plus six divided by x. So the first thing to do is to write this in a in a standard form. By standard form, I mean uh, there's no square root or cube root, and there's no variable dividing a number. So that will give us g of x equals to. So if you have uh, k square root of uh, p, 
and then you have some number c here and this is equals to p c divided by k uh, so here uh, because we have this uh, it will give us uh, equals to x 1 uh, divided by 3 and then if you if you want to put if you want that x to multiply the 6 uh, it's supposed to have a minus 1 right and then that will be plus 6 x uh, minus 1 uh, after this you can then uh, derivate uh, using the power rule uh, so using the power rule we're going to get uh, 1 over 3 x uh, 1 over 3 minus 1 plus 6 x uh, minus 1 uh, okay uh, I'm supposed to multiply here by minus 1 6 x uh, minus 1 and uh, minus 1 so we're going to get 1 over 3 x and then we have uh, 1 over 3 minus 1 I think that is going to be minus uh, 2 over 3 uh, I'm not so sure <laughs> and then we have a uh, plus multiplied by minus that is going to be minus 6 x then minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 um, obviously and then um, and then that's it yeah, we've derivated uh, the, the the function we have but then you're not supposed to leave it like this like this you're supposed to leave it how you found it so now because uh, we've written it in this uh, sort of standard format we're supposed to take it back to how we found it so um, here on the x we have uh, on the first term on the first term or here on the first term we have a x uh, we have a, a x that is a power of a negative right minus 2 over 3 we're supposed to get rid of that and uh, the best way of getting rid of that is taking it to the denominator when you take it to the denominator it will lose its a uh, negative sign so that will be uh, 1 uh, divided by 3x uh, 2 divided by 3 and then we do the same for the other term we get uh, minus 6 uh, divided by x um, squared and then uh, that's it for this question um, it's pretty much straightforward uh, nothing too complicated um, and yeah let's move ahead uh, I think yeah this is the last question on this uh, on this on this question uh, last but not least if h of x uh, equals to minus x uh, plus p is a tangent uh, if it's a tangent it's a straight line so we know that this is y equals to mx uh, plus c and then the question says oh to tie to, tie, to a function f of x equals to minus x squared uh, plus 3x uh, plus 4 then find the value of uh, p um okay so what we're going to do uh, we're going to derivate uh, this function when you derivate a function you essentially find in the gradient so the derivation of this function uh, that i put in brackets uh, will be equals to um will be equals to uh, this function on top at where they touch um, and then they're supposed to have um, the same gradient right because h of x is uh, uh, is 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 h of x is what is a tangent to to the function so let me derivate f of x so the derivative of f of x is equals to uh, minus uh, 2x uh, plus 3 right and then um this is uh the the, the gradient of uh this uh, this function we have here right f of x and then we know that this gradient is supposed to be equals to uh the gradient of uh the function we have h of x the gradient of h of x is minus one right because uh, it's in the format y equals to mx plus c so that is to say uh, minus 2x equals to uh, minus 4 and then x equals to 2 right and then we have found the x value now to find the y value so to find the value of y uh, we can sub it back into uh, the mother equation f, f of x right so um, f of 2 
uh, is equal to minus 2 squared um, plus 3x uh, oh, x is 2 uh, plus 3 multiplied by 2 plus 4 uh, this is equal to uh, minus uh, minus 4 uh, plus 6 uh, plus 4 uh, 4 and 4 uh, and then we get 6 so the point uh, the point is 2 and 6 so because we have h of x equals to minus x uh, plus p and uh, we can sub in 2 in place of x and 6 in place of h of x right so we're gonna get 6 equals to minus 2 uh, plus p uh, this would imply that uh, p is equals to 8 